use and or view at your own risk. Today we're going to take a look at the cable modem provided by your ISP. You may want to consult your ISP before making any changes to your cable modem as it may violate your terms of service agreement. This tutorial does not apply to all cable modems. First thing you'll want to do is open up your web browser and type in the address bar 192.168.100.1 that's 192.168.100.1 and hit the enter key this will take you to the cable modem login screen as you can see here it already gives you a little bit of information on the cable modem so we'll go ahead and click that the default cable modem username is admin admin and the default password is cable root C A B L E R O O T. And we'll hit OK. And that'll log us in. As you can see, here are several links here providing this information on the cable modem. One of the links is information. We'll click it. Just gives you a general overview, status. Click it. Uh, it tells you you're down your connectivity state, your boot state. You can see here that it's locked. So if you haven't paid your bill and your your internet's off, this can tell you. You know you can look at this and see why. If you upstream, again it's locked. Your upstream burst. Your operation configuration. And the event log. You have two options here. You can clear the log or refresh it. And we're going to go ahead and clear it. And now if you'll take a look in the upper right hand corner, you'll see the link tools. Go ahead and click it. Under the tools heading we have password. Here's where you can set a custom user password. You'll need to type in the default password again, which is cable root. And then type in a password of your choosing. Now changing the, the default user password will, will not guarantee that your modem won't be hijacked, but anytime you can change the default user password on anything, I certainly suggest in doing so. You can look at your scanning plan. Now here is where you can get a little into a little bit of a trouble. This controls your bandwidth, and I highly suggest you don't mess with it, as most of the time messing with it will violate your terms of service. You can also re reset the default settings for the cable modem and on some cable modems this will reset the custom password on others it will not so just be aware of that we'll click apply it'll take a few seconds for the, the cable modem to reboot we'll click reload it should take us back to the, to the login page and whether you're just resetting the cable modem or you're implementing a custom user password I highly suggest you close your browser and try to log in again to make sure that either your custom user password took or that it has been reset to the defaults. And that'll just about do us. Um, you may want to consort. Please consort. Please, 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 please. You may want to consort. Consort.